This is a Beehive Bluetooth two outlet hose faucet timer by Orbit. You can have schedules to turn your water on and off in specific days and times. So we'll look at that. We'll see if you can set it from here and from the app. And you can do manual watering. It communicates over Bluetooth. Good weight to it. Plastic, got metal fittings with the screen on the top. Plastic fittings to your garden hoses on the bottom. Google and Apple apps available. It takes two AA batteries. You can run it from 10 to 100 PSI. That's certainly within the range of most irrigations that you would do with a garden hose. 35 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, so <clears throat> don't leave this outside if it's going to freeze. There's not too many places to get over 122, I suppose there are a few, but many more that will freeze. So let's see how to set it up. Download the app, insert the batteries, follow the instructions on the app. It's probably going to connect, do some configuration. Add a beehive hub that's sold separately. Oh, that'll let you do Wi-Fi instead of just Bluetooth. Save it and forget it. Sorry, set it, forget it, and save. And it'll push up to 100 feet distance of water. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Most hoses are either 50 or 100 feet, <clears throat> at least in the U.S. Beehive, clever name. Let's give it a try. When you're putting the batteries in, you got to grab and pull that out. It's, it's a snug fit. It has a little O-ring type seal here to keep it waterproof. We've got a water faucet here. Plenty of hoses that I'm going to run out when I need to to my multi-purpose garden out here. I've got a variety of raised beds. Got some gutters hanging on the fence. I've got some pots. And the way I water this today is I collect rainwater. It comes down here and I can switch it into drip into the garden. I've also got this on an automatic irrigation zone, but there are times where we're not allowed, if I don't have water in my, in my irrigation tank, we're not allowed to water if there's a drought situation with an automatic, but either doing it by hand or with a little controller on my faucet like that, that's considered hand watering because I can sit right by it and control it and turn it on the manual. So I'll have a third when I need to. I'm going to put another adapter in here. So I'll have an inbound irrigation hose, a drip irrigation hose, and my beehive hose coming in here from the water faucet. I'll be able to go over here and run through all the baffles and water the system. So that's what we're going to try out. And by the way, this is a beehive XD, which you'll need when you're installing the app to, ter to determine which device you're connect so first of all how do you reset this if you mess up you turn this to off position you control the menu by scrolling through all these line items here turn it to off and then we're going to hold this this button right here for five seconds and it reset Okay, so let's program this. You scroll through these menu items, you can see the little cursor here. Let's go up to clock. Once we get there, we push the button, and then we can say, okay, eight o'clock, and then it'll advance to the minutes, 8.06 p.m. If you keep going, it'll go to a.m. So that's how to program the clock. And then, this unit has two outputs. I have my own caps on here, but they don't come with that. And you have zone one, so I've selected start time. So this is zone one. I can go to zone two also, zone one, zone two. And again, I turn this, starts at, let's just say I do this at 7 a.m. Get the hour, and I can do the minutes next like that. Okay? 
Let me go do zone two. Start time. Say so this one runs later. 10 a.m. 10 10. Okay, that's how you start time. Once you pop back out, you're back in the menu up here. You can clock, start time. Now, how long? When you're doing how long, of course, you pick zone one or zone two. You hit enter, and now you can program minutes. It goes from one, if you go in the other direction, it's zero minutes. Oh, sorry. How long? Scroll from one, and you go over 240, so one to 240 minutes. So let's just say this thing runs for 10 minutes. Okay, let me go to zone two, and Oops, I'm going to click it again to go inside of this menu to operate it, and we'll give that oops, a, little, a little touchy, eight minutes. Okay, so you can see how long. Zone 2 is eight minutes. Zone 1 is ten minutes. Let me go back to how often do you want to run it. Click Enter, and you can pick 1, 3, 6, 9, 12 hours. I'm sorry, this is how often in terms of days or time, so this is when it's going to run. Every five days, every six days, or seven days, one, three, six, twelve hours, so you've got a couple hours to, uh, parts of the schedule and days parts of the schedule, so we'll just do this one every day and push for zone two. We'll make this, oops, let us select it again. We'll make this one every three days. Select now I'm back in the menu, and this is an auto mode. So sometimes I don't want it just to be auto. If I push this, it goes into manual mode. So what I can do now is say, I want you to run now for four minutes. Click, okay? So it's turning on. You hear it click? I don't have hooked up to water, but you, hear, you heard it click just now. Anytime it runs, it's going to give you that click. So I can go out of manual mode by holding that down. I think it will click again. Yep, heard the click. So shut that off. So you go back into auto mode. And since this is programming, if you just don't want it to run, you just come down here to off. And now it's off. So you don't have to reset any values up inside of here. So that's how you program it. Okay, let's try to put this in auto manual, but go into the hold for rain delay mode so we can add a delay ourselves. So you go into this area here in the menu and you hold this for a couple seconds, three seconds. And this little dot raindrop shows up. And you can put a time, 12 hours, 24, or some number of days. And click it again. So now it's got a, what did I pick, two day, a two day rain delay. See, it flashes through its programming, two days, and back to the time. Two days, back to the time. Okay? And if I want to get rid of that, to remove a rain delay, press and hold the dial for three seconds. So the rain delay is only, it's for the unit, it's not for a specific zone. We'll hold this for three, and it disappears. I did notice that sometimes it won't take right away when you're sitting there pushing the hold button, that little rain drop comes up, and you know, went back to off and back to auto, and then it came back again. Okay, so that's all the functions of this. We'll turn it in off mode. Okay, I hit reset. When you go into pairing mode, it, it'll do a factory reset. Hold the reset button, so I have to reset what I programmed in the device. Okay. Okay, when you want to pair this, you have to reset the device. So we put it down on off. And hold to reset. Okay, the device is reset. 
when I start to beehive out. New device, Beehive XD. Device is powered on. I found it. Okay, so that was interesting. Okay, it looks like it's set to time from my phone. Okay. Let's just put in some zip code. Here, Austin. Okay, you can change the name here. Just keep it hose timer. Next. Okay, let's continue. It says two zones, two outputs. Select the zones you have physically connected to a terminal. Two, next. We'll test them. You should hear a click. Okay, let's stop, do another click. All right, this is called as Gordon veggies. Test number two. Mm -mm. Click, stop. And we'll call that sprinkle. It's not running great on here, it's hiding the entry field. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to define a program. I'm going to call that, it's a basic program. This is going to be water, veggies. Done. Next. I'm going to tell it to start. 7 a.m. Okay. Next, I'm going to do every two days. Next, how long do you want to water it for? Okay, I'll run that for 10 minutes. Okay. That's the basic zone done. So my programs, I have one program called Water Veggies, which uses the water zone, the veggie zone rather. So here's program. You can get to the advanced functions by hitting this. But some of these functions, like the smart watering, are only available if you get this additional device that this, the Wi-Fi device, I think it is. So you can also water on weekdays, even days, odd days, or some interval every four days. And start today never ends. You can set the watering budget if you want to, depending on the season. Save that. Okay, and you see the zones here. I have two. Typically physical the zones and typically programs or groups. But I didn't see a way to add two zones to this edit. Oh. Hit advanced. Let's edit. Modify add zones over oh, right here. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I could pick another zone in there too. So this program would run both of these zones, physical zones. So program has more than one physical zone, physical zone, save that. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So you get a calendar. It'll put some dots here. It tells you which zones are running because you can have more than one program running and each program can have multiple zones. 
So put some color indicator in there. You can click on it. Day 25. You can see water veggies is going to run here. And that's it. Okay. There's the programs I told you about. There's your home. Tells you what when it's going to be watering. You can add a rain delay like you can on the physical device. You can do it 12, 24 days and so forth. And then you can have a water manually and you can say hit number one and do it now for 10 minutes. Save. Not sure what I just did, but discovered that. Here's the zones I've set up. Then you have my beehive. You can go look at your account information. You can see the devices you have registered. You can see the watering history. How much water have you used? Minutes. Smart watering requires advanced features. By the week, by the month, by the year. It's kind of nice notifications there's a rain delay when it's complete if there's a device error you probably want these last last ones on leave the water for, you never know what's going to happen with the active water hose the help was pretty good it told me I had to reset this to reconnect Bluetooth to it and yeah so pretty straightforward so we'll go into zones and hit veggies. At least I can change the picture too if I want to. Take a photo, choose from a library. But if I hit smart watering, it's not going to do that because you need a Wi-Fi module to get into the the weather stations or however they set that up. But hit buy now launches a website. Orbit online. Wi-Fi hub, that's $34, $35, okay, smart zone details, okay, yeah, you can't get into that function, I should buy the add-on, okay, okay, one final check, I noticed down here, I only have two zones, so they have to be defined in A and B, C and D are when you have four outputs here, so if you look what I have defined, I have a water veggies and a sprinkler program. The water veggies, let's just look what it is. It runs at 7 a.m. for 10 minutes every two days. So let's go look on a device and see. Zone 1, start time 7 a.m., 10 minutes every two days. Okay. You look here at sprinkler. You can see it's... 7 p.m., 5 minutes every 4 days. Go to zone 2. Start time, 7 p.m., 5 minutes, 4 days. Okay, they're in sync. Last thing I wanted to show you was in um, in the, under my beehive, under devices, if you click on your device, Hose timer, some zip code, you can disconnect Bluetooth. Timer mode is in off. We'll put it in auto. Guess you can do it from here too. Turn it on or off. Okay. Weather delays, you'd have to have the smart device, the smart uh, Wi-Fi controller, so that's not going to work. You can share devices with other managers and guests. People can operate it or change it. That's kind of nice. Smart watering restrictions. This is important for me. I can't definitely not water on Mondays. I'm not allowed to do it. And in fact, um, I think my days are, let's say there are three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that's the only time I'm allowed to water. So that's going to overlap. So that's nice. If you take that, if you take that off, then it allows you to scroll down, turn off smart water days. Put on one of these week weekdays to water, odd days. 
and don't water on the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and do not water between, let's see, what is it, 10 and 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., something like that. So I can't water in those times, 10 and not on those days. So it's pretty nice to have that. Okay, save it. You can update the firmware. System on update. Oh, you can automatically shut it off at some date and turn it on. That's it. That's kind of cool if you're like in the winter or something. <clears throat> or whatever it is. Reset. Okay. And... I think I showed you, but of course the last thing is if you want to water manually or rain delay, if you want to water manually, just pick one and hit go. I'm not going to touch that. And rain delay, you can specify how much you want immediately. So all that gets set into the device. I think you see the little lock when this is updating. Because it's not on here. Okay. All right, pretty solid. It's a little quirky to have to reset this to get the Bluetooth connection to work again, but that's the way it is. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is hook it up, turn the water on, make sure none of this part is leaking. Looks good. And if you notice, I've capped both of these off. I always keep caps just in case something goes wrong with all my stuff. Okay, let's try manual mode. Press this. Manual mode. One minute. Turn the water on. It clicked. And it came back on. No, this is easier for me to sort of connect the hose here. 20 feet long. Come down here sit underneath the gazebo or in the yard and control this thing and I can water that whole irrigation system considered manual watering because it's in my hand so we do get times in central Texas where there's not a lot of rain like right now which is why I'm, I don't want to water too much because we're hoping it rains it's been a dry spring and this should shut off I think. Oh, there it goes. And it shuts off. Works great. Plastic. It's got a nice feel to it. Doesn't feel cheap. Let's take a look at the app.